What is up guys, we are facing Thanos on expert mode with Spectrum. So with Thanos' setup, let's uh, create the Infinity Stone deck over here. And then uh, we are going to review the top card of the Infinity Stone deck with the main schemes when reviewed, which is the Soul Stone. And then uh, we also review Sanctuary with the main schemes effect. This is a side scheme with Hinder 1 plus 3 threat. It says here that Thanos cannot take damage while this is in play. Thanos is uh, coming in with stalwart and toughness. It says when reviewed, search the encounter deck and discard pop for Thanos' helmet and reveal it. So he gets his helmet right here. And then uh, his helmet will give him retaliate one. Let's shuffle up the encounter deck. Okay. And let's shuffle up our player deck here. And then we will draw up to our hand size of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. And let's see what we got. So we got a double. Let's and then speed of light. Let's mulligan. Discard these four cards and then draw four more. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then with Monica Rainbow setup, we put all three of our energy upgrades face down into play. So let's put that right here. Okay. Um. Let's go ahead and flip over here to hero form, and then we will use our energy transformation for response. After you change this form, choose a face on energy form upgrade and flip it face up. And we change into that energy form. So we do gamma. In this form, we get plus two attack. And then here response, after you change this energy form, do one damage to enemies. So we hit damage for one, that'll ping off this tough. This is not an attack, so he won't retaliate against us. Then we're going to play a speed of light. Hero action, change energy forms and draw a card. We're going to change to our photon form here. So we get plus two Thorpe. When we change this form, we move one third from the scheme. Let's take one off the sanctuary. And we can draw a card with the speed of light's effect. Okay. Then we are going to... Uh, let's play another speed of light. Change energy forms. We're going to change... Actually, wait. Before we do that, before we do that, we have plus two Thorpe. So we're going to Thorpe for three from the sanctuary and clear off this side scheme. Uh, it has a one defeat effect where you can spend physical resources to do damage to damage. We're not going to do that. And it has a victory uh, victory one, so it goes into the victory display and removed from the game. But then we're going to play Speed of Light. So change energy form and draw a card. We're going to change to our defense one, post star. So we get plus two defense. We change this form. We heal one damage, but we're at full, so it doesn't matter. But we draw a card with Speed of Light. Okay. Then let's go ahead and use a double resource here. So we can play, actually let's use this one, double resource here, so we can play energy duplication. And this would be a double resource we're paying for an aggression card. So actually let's save this. We're gonna exhaust energy duplication to generate a, um, it, it generates the uh, printed resource right here, which is gonna be a uh, energy resource for Pulsar. Second resource to play Spider Girl. And then we're just gonna keep her here, because Thanos has retaliated, so she, she'll get knocked out when we take that. So uh, that's gonna end our turn, let's write it back up. We're gonna keep the genius and the power of aggression in our hand and draw back up to five. Okay, we got bug and bro. Okay, so it's his turn. One third to the main scheme. He's gonna attack with a base of four plus a boost here. Let's actually defend for three. And the boost is give Thanos a tough status card. So it's only hitting us for four with the infinity stones plus one. We're defending for three because we have plus two defense here. We're taking one damage, bringing us from 11 down to 10. Then uh, Thanos. Infinity God will activate, so we activate all the Infinity Stones in play. Heal three damage from the villain and give him a face down boost card. He's already at full, so he doesn't heal. And this gets discarded, but he gets the face down boost card. Then we get a uh, encounter card, which is under fire, surge, and reveal the top card of the encounter deck. So we get the Black Order a side scheme here. Each Black Order minion, when a Black Order minion is in play, threat cannot be removed from this side scheme. Card number two threat. And our last encounter card is I am inevitable. Give Thanos a face down boost card, so he has two boost cards here. And it's back to our turn. Uh, we could, I think we want to just play Bug and Brawn. After Brawn attacks, remove a threat. Uh, hmm. Okay, this would be a double resource we're paying for an aggression card, so we can play Bug. And then let's exhaust energy duplication to generate an energy resource here. And this would be two more for a total of three, so we can play Brawn. Okay, Braun's going to attack Thanos to remove his tough. After Braun attacks, 
uh, remove one threat from a scheme. Let's take one off of here. And then Brown will take a cost point damage and retaliate from Damage's helmet. And then Bug is going to Thor for one from the Black Order to clear this off to take a damage. And this is not defeated. Spire Girl is going to Thor for one from the main scheme to clear that off. Should take a damage. Okay, it's going to end our turn here. Let's ready back up. And then I don't think we need a Thorian card, so let's discard the Photon Speed and draw back up to our hand size of a five here. Got a Quinn Carrier. Okay, we're looking pretty good. So the answer turn is going to add one to the main scheme. He's going to attack us now with the base of four, and he gets three boost cards now because he already had two. So we're going to have, uh, let's have Spire Girl block this one. So three boost cards is going to be, the boost effect is give damage a tough status card, and then five boost icons, plus the four, it's going to be nine damage. Knocks out Spire Girl. If there are no Infinity Stones in play, the Infinity Gauntlet will flip the top card of the Infinity Stone deck, which is a Time Stone. Then we get a face on a counter card, which is Proxima Midnight, so a minion here with uh, Piercing. Okay, so it's back to our turn. Uh, I think we... Yeah, we need a Gamma Blast, unfortunately. Because we can't change forms uh, without that. Can we get the Quinn Carrier? Let's see, we play Quinn Carrier. Yeah, we can do the Quinn Carrier, actually. So this would be three resources, so we can play the Quinn Carrier. And we get Exhausted Quinn Carrier to generate a water resource. Exhaust this to generate a, um, what is this called? A uh, energy resource. This would be a third resource to play a Gamma Blast. Change to Gamma Energy form, so we're gonna change over to our Gamma form. After you change this form, do one damage to an enemy. So we're going to pink off the top of Thanos. And do seven damage to an enemy. If we're, you were already in Gamma form, we weren't, so nothing happens with that, so just seven damage to her, which will kill Proxima Midnight. Then we're going to have Spectrum Thwart for one from the main scheme. And then we're gonna flip down here. I don't think, I think we'll, we'll be okay. So we're gonna flip down to Arch Eagle. Our forces are up, power down. We flip all of our energy upgrades face down. And then it's gonna end our turn. Let's ready back up, drawing back up to our hand size of six. Okay, we've got Sunfire, which is really good. Okay, so Thanos' turn is going to add one threat to the main scheme. He's going to scheme with the base of 1, 2, 3, plus a boost of 1, so 4 threat plus 1 is going to be 5. The Time Stone will trigger, so discard the top 4 cards of your deck, place one threat on the main scheme for each different card type. So two ally, 3 allies of one event, so 2 card types. So we're going to add 2 threats to the main, bring it up to 7. And then discard the stone, and then we get a face line counter card, which is Loss of control, so we cannot change forms with Alter Ego. Actually, we can exhaust ourselves to remove this from the game. So we're already in Alter Ego. Um, yeah, let's go and do that. We're going to exhaust ourselves to remove the loss of control from the game. And then we're going to flip over here. Uh, do we want the Thor one? I think we do want the Thor one. We can change again. Um, okay, let's go ahead and change forms here. To hero form, energy transformation. So we're gonna pick photon. Okay, plus two threat. We change this form. Remove one threat from a scheme. Let's take one off of here. Okay, and this would be a double resource with pink for an aggression card. So we play sunfire. When sunfire enters play, we can spend an energy resource. Let's spend that with a wild hero quick care to generate energy. To choose an attachment with the text hero action or hero response and discard. So we can discard Dance's helmet here because it has a hero response here. So. That is really good for us. So no more retaliate on Thanos. Then I think we want to, we could also Heli Carrier. Uh, let's play our Speed of Light, change energy form and then draw a card. Let's just change over to our Post Arc form. He won damage and we have plus two defense and we draw a card. We got Photon Speed. Uh, don't think we're gonna play it. I could play it. Um, but I'm greedy and I want the heli carrier. So let's exhaust this to generate a resource. Two more, so we can play a total of three to play heli carrier. And then we're going to have Brawn swing at Thanos for one. That went from 23 down to 22. After Brawn attacks, remove one there from the scheme. Brawn will take a cost of damage, so three total damage on Brawn. And then let's see, it's a five. He gets an advance. I think we should be okay. Sunfire's gonna swing at two for Thanos. That went from 22 down to 20. 
Flame Fire takes the cost 40 damage. Let's get end our turn. Let's ready back up here. And we're gonna keep the Photon Speeder in hand, draw him back up to five. And we're getting pretty built out here. We got Nick and Endurance, which is really good. So Thanos' turn is gonna add one third to the main scheme. He's gonna attack with a base of four plus a boost. Then we have Sunfire block this. Um, yeah. So the boost is two, so it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six damage, knocks out Sunfire. Then he'll flip the stone, power stone. And then we get a face on the counter card, which is Avatar of Death. They know attacks you, the attack us overkill and piercing. So we're in our pulsar form, which is good. So we can just defend this attack for three. The same with the base of four with overkill and piercing, one. So one, two, three, four, five. We're just remember three, we take two damage. That brings us from 11 down to nine. Then we'll activate the power stone, so, so you are stunned. Okay, and then back to our turn here. So we can get Nick out. Let's use the helicarrier to reduce the cost of the next card we play by one. Queen care to generate wild. This would generate a energy resource, and we need one more resource to die bomb here, so we can play Nick Fury. When you enter this play, choose one. Let's put the one and draw three. So one, two, three. Ooh, I really want the Avengers Mansion. Do we? Let's see, can we photon speed? I think we just photon speed and endurance, and then get the mansion out next turn. Okay, so two resources here, so we can play a Photon Speed. Change to Photon Energy form, so the Thorium one. And then when we change this form, we move one third from the scheme, so we're gonna take one off of here. This is removing four third from the scheme, so it's gonna be a total of five that will clear this off. So we have one third left on the main scheme, that resolves that. And let's use Valkyrie as a resource to play Endurance. This will increase our max hit points by three, but our current hit points go up as well, so we go from nine up to 12 here. So again, healthy. And then Nick Fury is going to swing at Thanos for two. That will bring him from 20 down to 18. Nick takes the damage. Bronze is going to swing for one. That will bring Thanos from 18 down to 17. And then Bronze response removes it there from the scheme, clearing off the main scheme. Bronze takes the cost for two damage. That's going to end our turn. Let's ready back up here. And then we're not going to get Nick back from the shuffle, which is a little bit unfortunate. Draw him back up to five. We deck out, get a face out and counter card. Shuffle up our discard pile here back to the deck. And we're drawing two more cards back up to five. And we got energy duplication. Okay, so we get all of our resource generators out. Then it's going to add one to the main scheme. He's going to attack with a base of four and a boost. Nick blocks. The boost is two, so six damage. Not sound Nick Fury. Then it's going to flip a stone. And then we get a face on a counter card for a total of two. First one is Master Plan. Place four there on each side scheme. If there are no side schemes, we just card cards from the contact until we get a side scheme and then reveal it. So we're just gonna know down here until we get a side scheme. And we got an advance, which is great. Uh, just moving down. And I don't know if there's any more side schemes. Okay, that's both advances, but it doesn't matter if he decks out. Okay, so he decks out. And we didn't get a side scheme, so no side scheme gets put into play. But since he decks out, he gets a permanent acceleration to the main scheme. And we're gonna shuffle up the discard pile here. And I actually don't think we got that tribute one. Is this the side scheme? Uh, it could be. We're gonna shuffle up the encounter deck. And then that was a really quick deck out. Uh, counter card is Thanos' armor, so attach to Thanos. We're gonna take any amount of damage, we reduce that amount by one. Okay, and then did we. Oh, yeah, we flipped the stuff. Okay, so back to our turn. Um, I want to flip. Okay, let's have Spectrum Attack to remove our stun. We're going to Helicare to reduce the cost of the card play by one. And then use the Quicker to generate a resource so we can play a second energy duplication. Let's exhaust both of them to generate two mental resources here. And then this would be two more for total four to play Avengers Mansion. Exhaust the mansion to draw a card. And we got Hulk. Um, and we're gonna flip down here. So Arch Eagle, we power down. And then we're gonna ready up and end our turn. And then we are going to discard Hulk and draw back up to our hand as a six, keeping the photon speed. And we've got Sunfire again, which is awesome. Okay, uh, all right.
right, so Thanos' turn is going to add 2 to the main goes up to 3 because of the acceleration. You scheme with a base of 3 and a boost. Discard an owl, upgrade your control. Let's discard Brawn or Bug. Um, let's do Brawn and get him back to the shuffle. Okay, and then he's scheming for 3, so the main scheme goes up to 6. The Mind Stone triggers, so we get confused. And we get a face on a counter card, which is Avatar of Death. Thanos schemes for three plus a boost of zero. So this will go up to nine here. And he's gonna flip a stone after scheming because there's no stones in play. Okay, it's back to our turn. Let's use Avengers Mansion. So we can draw a card here. And then, let's see, Saw doesn't do anything for us. But we have so many resources, we might as well play her. We could also play a dive bomb. Uh, okay, let's just see. So we're going to flip over to hero form. And then let's go ahead and do the the uh, healing one. So which one's that? The pulsar form. So we heal one, going up to 13. And then we're going to thwart to remove our confuse. And then we're going to use... Uh, we have so many resources right now. Double resource when paying for an aggression card to play Slime of Fire. When you enter play, spend an energy resource. We're going to spend the energy duplication here to generate this energy resource. Choose an attachment with the text here action for hero response. His armor has a hero response. Discard it. Okay. And then we definitely need the photon speed. So let's exhaust Queen Care to reduce the cost of the next card play by one. Energy duplication to generate a resource. And then. Do we want to actually, yeah, actually, and then let's use Quinn Care to generate, actually, I'm trying to decide, if we do that, then we just play Psylocke, she can't confuse them because he's stalwart, but we just have an ally out, yeah, okay, so we're going to do Heather Carrier and the Energy Duplication to play Photon Speed, change to Photon Form, so in this form, we uh, remove one third from the scheme, and this will remove four, so we can take five there off of here. So this drops from nine down to four. Okay. And then we're going to use Quinn Carrier. And then let's use, it doesn't matter, we're gonna discard anyways. Three resources for a total of four to play Psylocke. She enters play with two Psionic counters. After she attacks, we can remove a Psionic counter to do one damage to the enemy that she attacked and confuse the enemy, but he has star, so he can't be confused. She's gonna throw for two from the main. Let's just drop this down to two. She'll take a damage. And then Sunfire is going to swing for two at damage. Stop bringing from 17 down to 15. And then he'll take a damage. It's gonna end our turn. Let's ready back up. And then we'll just keep the game of glass, actually. And then let's draw back up to our hand size of five. Okay, so Thanos' turn, he's gonna add two to the main, goes up to four. He's hitting us with a base of four and a boost. We're gonna have Sunfire block. The boost is zero, we got rid of that advance. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four damage, knocks out Sunfire. And then activate the Reality Stone, discard an ally, upgrade or support your control. Let's discard Bug. And then we get a face on encounter card, a minion here with overkill. Okay, back to our turn here. Um, let's use mansion so we can draw a card. We got two gamma blasts. Uh, you know, by a right, get some allies out in case we need them. So, heavy carry to reduce the cost of the next ally we play by, or card we play by one. Quinn carry and energy duplication. And the quick carry is the wall, we're gonna have to gen generate an energy resource. So we can play Valkyrie. When she enters play, do two damage to minion, three damage instead, and you pay for using an energy resource, which we do with the Quinn carry. So three damage on the black dwarf here. And then, uh, let's see. Let me get Spire Girl out here. And then, do we, can we play a Gamma Blast? No, we, we don't have the resource to play Spire Girl. But we play Photon Speed. I think that's fine. So. Generate a resource here with this uh, second resource, so we can play Spider Girl. 
Oh shit, I just played Stunning Confuse and Minion. Let's stun and Confuse the Black Dwarf here. And we won't get rid of him yet, actually. And then two resources to play a Photon Speed. We're already in Photon form, but remove four from the scheme. Clear that off. Okay. And then, let's attack Thanos. So there's no guard. Uh, especially has one attack, so let's swing for one at the Black Dwarf. He's got to swing for one, two, three, four at Thanos, so that'll bring him from 15 down to 11. It'll both take consequential damage. And we'll just keep Silo here to thwart more later. And then, do we flip down here? We got one advance. Um, I really like flipping. No, we have allies. There's no point flipping right now. Let's ready back up. And we're gonna draw back up to our hand size of five. And hopefully we can get a home technique soon. Gamma Blast is not bad, and the home technique. Okay, so we're looking good here. Thanos' turn is going to add two to the main scheme. He's going to attack with a base of four and a boost card here. We're going to have Spire Girl block. The boost is two, so it's going to be six damage. Knocks out Spider Girl. Then the Infinity Gauntlet will flip this into play. He ducked out with Infinity Stone, so the force response is give him a face down boost card. And we shuffle up the Infinity Stone deck. Discard power back into the deck. The Black Dwarf is going to attack us but he is stunned, so the attack will not go off. And then we get our face on encounter card, which is Deviant Syndrome, inside one. Give Thanos a tough status card. Okay. And then, okay, so that's Space Stone. Okay, it's back to our turn. Let's use Avengers Mansion so we can draw a card. And then we have Blue Marvel. Okay, let's use Helicare to reduce the cost of the next card we play by one. And exhaust both energy duplications to generate two mental resources right here, so we can play Home Technique. The requirement to play this card is two mental resources, which we did with the energy duplications. And then Max Bomber Player. In short, when you play an aggression attack event, if you pay for that event using a mental resource, increase the amount of damage that event deals by its printed cost. So we just have that right here. So it's going to make our Dive Bomb do a lot of damage. Actually, the Relentless Assault is going to do a lot of damage. Um, to the black dwarf here. And we want, let's see, do we play Lunasaw and Blue Marvel? No, we can't do both. So I think we play Wasp and Relentless Assault here. Okay, so we're going to, uh, this guy has two hit points left. We're going to exhaust the Quinn care to generate a mental resource. And Blue Marvel is a wild, so we're gonna have him be a physical resource. So we can play Relentless Assault. Hero action, do five damage to min, we're gonna hit the Black Dwarf. If you pair this card using a physical resource, which we did, uh, it gains overkill, and we use a mental resource. So the cost is two, it gets added to five, so seven damage with overkill. So two damage to him, and the five's gonna bleed over to Thanos. So that'll bring Thanos from 11 down to six. And then the Black Dwarf is defeated here. That's our Relentless Assault. And then we have Spectrum for for three. Oh, I forgot, he has Tough. Uh, that's fine, okay, let's just put it back. So he's gonna keep his 11 hit points. It just knocks off the Tough. I should've had an ally attack first. That's okay. Uh, so we have Spectrum Thor for three. Yeah, so we're gonna clear off the main scheme. Uh, a little bit unfortunate. This would be an energy resource, so we can play Wasp. She gets plus one hit point for each energy resource that you overpay for her cost. We only use one, so she gets one pin counter and one hit point. We're gonna keep her a block for us. Um, Valkyrie swings for two at Thanos. I'll bring from 11 down to nine. Yeah, I messed up the ordering ring there. He has a boost card. She'll take a cost bunch of damage. We're gonna keep the Gamma Blast in her hand. Let's ready back up. Okay, and then drawing back up to five, keeping the Gamma Blast. Let's check the discard pile. How many dive bombs did we get rid of? One, two, we got one more dive bomb. Okay, so then let's turn two threats to the main scheme. He's gonna attack us here. He gets another boost. We're gonna have Valkyrie block this. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage. All damage, no overkill. Defeats Valkyrie, she's gone. Then we activate Space Stone, discard cards from talking in contact until we get a minion and then review that minion. We got Ebony Maul. 
Every mob is going to attack us with a base of one. He gets his villainous, so he gets a boost card. Let's take it to serve during the attacking part. If no damage from this, if damage from this attack defeats an out, it does not. So just one damage on us. That will range from 13 down to 12. Then we get a phase on encounter card. The even syndrome, insight one, give Thanos toughness. So I gotta remember he has toughness this time. Okay. And we need to get rid of the mall as well. Uh, okay, let's use mansion so we can draw a card. We got a dive bomb. Uh, okay, so there's no guard. So what we need to do is we can gamble blast into an overkill. So we're gonna have Psylocke attack Thanos. That will ping off his tough. And then we're gonna remove his on counter to do one more damage to him and confuse him. But he's, he has Star Wars, so he won't be confused. Should take a too much damage. So one damage on Thanos, I'll bring it down to eight. Okay. Then we, I think we play, we play dive on this 11. That's gonna overkill. We play the Gamma Blast. I would prefer to overkill here. Oh, we speed of light. We speed of light. Do a damage. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. I think we just dive bomb him here. And then get him toughed. Okay. So let's use the heli character to reduce the cost of the next card we play by one. And then energy duplicates here is going to generate two mental resources and this would be a uh, third water resource here so we can play dive bomb play only if your dungeon has air trait we do have the air trait on spectrum seven damage to enemy one damage to each other enemy so we're gonna hit thanos for seven but since we have the home technique it's actually gonna be 11 on thanos and five to each other enemy so five on every maul and 11 on thanos that's gonna bring him down to zero and flip him over to his third and final stage here we're gonna star and toughness again when review search the encounter, you can discard off with Thanos' armor and reveal it so he gets the armor back where he reduces all damage that he takes by one. Okay, and then the dive bomb will resolve there. Okay, then we're going to play Speed of Light, change en energy forms, and oh, wait, wait. Ah, that's fine. Because uh, he's gonna. We need to hear a response. We need to make a basic attack. Because. If he takes, reduce the amount of damage he takes by one, so if we ping off a damage, when Thanos would take a amount of damage, it doesn't get rid of tough because he won't take any damage actually. So we speed of light. What do we do? We can have Wasp swing at Thanos. Then we'll still have a blocker. Um, I think that's going to be the play here. I want to get the overkill. But I don't think it matters right now. Uh, we're gonna deck. I'm gonna get two face on encounter cards, which could be nasty. Okay, so we're not gonna do that. Okay, let's do speed of light. Change energy form. We're gonna change over to our gamma form. We change this form. Get plus two attack. Do one damage to enemy. Let's just knock out enemy mall. We need an overkill. Then we draw a card with speed of light. Oh, we got Wolverine. Speaking of piercing, um, we're out of resources. We play him, but I think we're gonna play him anyways. So let's go ahead and use, this has four resources, so we can play Wolverine, and Wolverine's attacks have piercing. So he's going to swing for three at Thanos with piercing. So reduce the amount he takes by one, so it's only going to be two damage, but it knocks off the top. And then, oh, he should have 28 hit points. So he'll drop from 28 down to 26 with the two damage from Wolverine. And then Wolverine takes two clan point damage for attack activations and then special is gonna swing here for three because we have gamma at Thanos reduce it by one so two damage bring him down 24 when uses hero response after your hero makes a basic attack against Thanos spend an energy and physical resource to discard this card let's get rid of this all right and then we keep watch just a block just in case and we're gonna end our turn let's ready back up and all we're looking for are some dive bombs Drawing back up to five, and then we deck out. Well, the speed of lights are good. Shuffle up our discard pile here. And then we're gonna draw one more card, back up to five. Okay, we got 
not blue marble. So the next turn is going to add two to the main. It goes up to five. Then he is going to attack us with a base of five now in his third stage boost card. We're going to have Psylocke block this. And then the boost is going to be five plus this card, top card of the Infinity Stone deck, and apply its boost icon. So three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage. That will knock out Psylocke. And then he's going to flip the top card of the Infinity Stone deck with the Infinity Gauntlet's effect. We got the Reality Stone. He uses a face down encounter card. First encounter card is Under Fire. Surge and review the top card of the Infinity Stone or of the uh, encounter deck. So, or review the top card and then surge. So, Master Stone's attached damage when he activates, put the top card of the Infinity Stone deck into play and discard this after the activation. And then the surging from Under Fire. Mag Titan put the top card of the Infinity Stone deck into play. Okay, he's going to have a bunch of stones. Last encounter card is another Masters of Stones. Okay, so we want to try to kill him here because he's going to give us a lot of stones next turn. Let's use Mansion to draw a card. And we really need a damaging card here. Um, should we just swing here for four? Oh, when our turn begins, we're going to use one. Let's do that. It's fine. Okay, we just need some damage. Let's have. Spectrum Swing for 3 at Daniel, stopping from 24 down to 21. Then we're going to play a Speed of Light, change forms, let's change to our uh, Postar form. So heal a damage, go up until the 13 and draw a card. Okay, it's not what we're looking for. We're going to play another Speed of Light, change forms, we're going to change to, uh, let's do Photon form, so remove a threat from a scheme, and then draw a card. Got Valkyrie. Okay, that's fine. We have to just hang on here. Um, we got Postar Shields. Okay, we're gonna take a lot of feed in here. I think we still just play both allies and have Wasp attack. So Wasp's gonna swing for three. That'll bring damage from 21 down to 18. She'll take a constant damage, get defeated because she only has one hit point anyways. And then we're going to Heavy Carry to reduce the cost of the next card we play by one. Uh, this will be double resource so we can play Blue Marble. And I actually wanna, actually the post are fused don't, the post are shields don't stack, huh? When Blue Marble enters play, we can change forms. So let's change to our uh, Postar form. No, uh, we're not, okay, we're, we're gonna stay in Photon because I need the energy, the mental resource in case we get dive beams. So we're not gonna use this here response because it's not a force response, so we'll just keep him here. And then this would be Quinn Care to generate, actually let's just use, yeah, Quinn Care to generate a mental resource, double resource and paying for an aggression card to play Valkyrie. Her response only triggers for minions, nothing happens right now. Let's just have Blue Marble and Valkyrie both work for one, two, three from the main scheme. The both take consequential damage. And then, should we keep the post our shields? We have 13 hit points if he gets an overkill, so that's fine. Let's just card this ending our turn. Yeah, we're gonna just right back up. We have Wolverine attack, but I think it's fine. We just need a dive bomb to win. Draw him back up to five here. Got a Gamma Blast. Okay, no dive bomb yet. So, Dance's turn is gonna add two to the main, goes up to three. He attacks for seven and a boost. And with the Master of Stones, when Nemesis activates, put the top card of the Infinity Stone deck into play. So both of us get put into play here. So it's gonna hit us with four stones. He decks out, so he gets a, another boost card here with his force response, and we shuffle up the Infinity Stone deck, which is only gonna be two cards. And we're gonna activate all these stones on us, and two boosts. So we're gonna have uh, Valkyrie block his attack. And then the boost is just one boost icon. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage. Knocks out Valkyrie. And we're gonna trigger all these stones here. So Mind Stone is easy. We just get confused. That's gone. Reality Stone, discard an ally of Ghost Break Control. Let's discard Blue Marble. Soul Stone, huge three damage from Thanos. He goes from 18 up to 21. And you give him a face down boost card. Time stone, discard the top four cards of your deck. Not 
the die bombs. Oh, one die bomb. Okay. Um, and then place one threat on the main screen for each different card type. We have resource and events, which has two card types. So two threat goes from three up to five. Okay, so we did all that, and he still has one boost card here. His encounter card is I am inevitable. Give Thanos a face down boost. Okay. And it's back to our turn. We'll refuse one when our turn begins. Let's mansion and draw a card. Okay, let's play. Yeah, we don't have to kill unless we die bomb. Oh, and these get discarded after the activation. So, so I should have done that earlier. Speed of light, change forms. Uh, I think we have the mentals. Okay, let's change to uh, gamma form. We change this form, one damage to an enemy, hit him dead for one, bring him 21 down to 20, and draw a card with speed of light. Okay, we got the dive bomb. Awesome, so we have to kill now. Okay, so we're gonna have Wolverine swing for three. That'll bring Thanos from 20 down to 17. Wolverine's gonna take two consequential damage. And let's just remove our stun. We're going to thwart to get rid of the confused, I mean. Okay, then we're going to use to play a game of last. So it's gonna be Three resources here, so we can play a Gamma Blast. Hero action, change to Gamma Energy form, and do seven damage to enemy. It will have overkill, because we're already in that form. It doesn't matter. Seven damage to Thanos. That'll bring from 17 down to 10. Okay. And then we're going to uh, exhaust a Helicare to reduce the cost of the next card we play by one. Use both energy duplication to generate two physical resources. And then couldn't care to generate a mental resource because for home technique, we need to pay for the attack event with a mental resource. So we can play Dive Bomb now. So we have the arrow trait, seven damage, plus four is gonna be 11 damage at Thanos. And that'll bring it from 10 down to zero. And that is Thanos on expert mode.